Enterprise Conscious Code, uh, the initiative that you have over here, um, no one really sort of associates software with uh, carbon emissions. Uh, but how is that actually uh, the case? Yeah. So, um, one of the interesting things is that, uh, you know, and you mentioned about it, that 3% of all carbon emissions are uh, ICT emissions are, are coming from ICT sector. We believe with Gen AI and other things and with millions of codes written virtually every day, that would actually go up to 14%. Uh, but to just give an India context uh, is that if you take some of our popular websites and if a user traverses all parts of the, all parts of the website, it's equivalent, I'm talking about large websites, uh, it's equivalent to driving 10 kilometers or uh, right. using petrol every day. Right. And this is one user. Right. We have 30 million to 50 million users on some of these websites. So uh, the second part is because we're looking at digital, this includes not just your web interfaces, but your phones, your, your, your TV sets, every, every medium through which you're actually communicating. And we felt as a firm, I think it's important that we start recognizing this now. Yeah. Uh, and that, therefore, we created this Enterprise Conscious Code Initiative, where the, the idea is that we've built a tool which can run on any website and tell how energy efficient you are or energy inefficient you are. Yes. I mean, uh, the viewers will be interested to know that a, a blue line yeah. uh, actually uh, takes up more energy than a red and a green line as well. So we've gone into that level of detail sure. to, to understand. Uh, the second bit we also found, Vishnu, mm -hmm. was that a lot of this, uh, the, these web pages and websites and are sometimes written on old technologies, yes. uh, legacy mm -hmm. architecture, which also makes it very energy inefficient. Uh, File sizes, for example, right? A, a simple video file could be 400 MB, uh, which actually could be compressed to. We built compression techniques yeah. to make it to 400 KB. Yeah. So you really are are doing this. Uh, the second part is really about accessibility. Uh, what we also found is that, for example, if you're colorblind, which 4% of the world's population is colorblind, and if you have an astigmatism, which is in India, in the tested population, nearly 30% of the yeah. population is astigmatic. Yeah. Uh, you are, in some sense, not being inclusive. Yeah. Uh, right? So this initiative was really about three things. Uh, people, to be inclusive. Yeah. Uh, the planet, so as to ensure that the way code is written. So the Enterprise <coughs> Code Initiative also tells that how to write a code, how to govern the code as well. Because another interesting data point is 60% of a code you know, this is, I mean, of course, it's, it's a sample, but 60% of code written is never used. Yeah. So it's only 40% of the code written. But because you're writing that kind of code, it consumes energy, it consumes time, it consumes space. Right. All right? Similarly with the file sizes. Sure. So really about making it more efficient, yeah. which is really uh, also from a green perspective. Yes. But at the end of it, all of this also contributes to the bottom line. Sure. So people, planet and profit, all the three aspects we're covering.